let's get into the history of Favorite Stove and Range and try to understand the misunderstandings that are out there. Favorite Stove and Range was a brand new company. It wasn't changed, it wasn't renamed, it wasn't anything. Okay, It was started up as a brand new company. And for us to understand that, to get past all this uh, incorrect history, we need to look at an interview with William K. Bold himself. And this is from a April 18, 1889. Okay, And that's shortly after Favorite Stove Works came up. You can read the entire thing on the website, but the main thing that I'm interested in is down here, okay? So is the old Favorite Stove Company bankrupt? And Favorite Stove Company was a confusion because it had nothing to do with Favorite Stove and Range. That was the Great Western Stove Works, I believe, that was sold to Favorite Stove Company, and I'll show you that later on. So in Bull's own words, why, who, who started that uh, sort of story? Our company is a new one and certainly solvent and prosperous. The old company is rich, has never been embarrassed, and is still actively in business. That is the yes, Favorite Stove Works company, okay? So let's get into this a little bit more and talk about W.C. Davis and how these two men managed to hit it off, so to speak. Um, I found an article in, okay, first of all, let's talk about Hollowware because there's a lot of, again, misinformation. A lot of people believe or have been told or led to believe that Hollowware wasn't produced by Favorite Stove until 1916. That is that is out the window. Um, so what I'm seeing is articles from say eight, or, uh, 1894 showing the favorite stove company okay favorite stove and range company producing favorite peak with hollowware okay favorite peak with hollowware is that block logo that we see so these skillets are probably the original ones we need to understand that wc davis made hollowware favorite stove works made hollowware the favorite stove works company made hollowware and favorite stove and range bought the patterns and tools from favorite stove works company and started fresh okay so the making of hollowware goes right back to the start of Favorite Stove and Range. Now, whether the patterns came from st Favorite Stove Works or they were uh, recreated as new, I don't know. So, W.C. Davis himself, he goes back to more before the Civil War, and it's quite an interesting history, but I'm just going to touch on it a bit here. Um, he seemed to have a holding company called W.C. Davis and Company, and under that umbrella, he would buy different companies. So, Anchor Ironworks, for example, was a, another one that he bought. Okay, So, he actually bought the trademark or the patent for a metal burial case from another company or from another fellow and actually created Anchor Ironworks and he started selling metal caskets. Um, that history itself is quite interesting, but at some point he sold Anchor Ironworks and it went on to uh, somebody else and got out of that business. And that's what he seemed to have a history of doing was buying, his creating and selling companies. So now we get into the Great Western Stove Works and this is a little bit muddy, okay? But we need to look at this one article I found here. And it states clearly, in 1872, Bull purchased the uh, stove foundry of W.C. Davis & Company under this new management, yada, yada, yada. He sold it to the favorite stove company. Okay. Now, the only thing that William K. Bull bought in 1872 was Great Western Stove Works. And he went into partnership with S. Phelps Chiseldine. Okay. So in 1872, and this is clearly stated right here, they bought the Great Western Stove Works and they ran it for a while under the uh, banner of W.C. Davis and Company and then sold it to the Favorite Stove Company. Now there's a lot of interesting information because a lot of miscommunication and whatnot, even in the news. Okay, So when we go down through, when we go down through the uh, history here, Okay, and we had sole agents for Favorite Stove Works. So Favorite Stove Works was another startup from W.C. Davis. Favorite Stove Works did not move to uh, Pequot, Ohio. Okay, this is what people need to understand. So the in 1878, the favorite trademark, the Sunburst logo or Starburst, depending on who you talk to, was registered by W.C. Davis. Now I find it interesting that W.C. Davis would go into business with W.K. Bull but wouldn't put bowl on the uh, trademark. So W.C. Davis and Company registered the uh, favorite trademark and used it for favorite stove works, okay? And again, bowl is not on the trademark. So it was W.C. Davis and Company that actually owned favorite stove works. And I think W.C. Davis would have been the president and W.K. Bowl the vice president, okay? So again, moving forward, favorite stove works, I think, came into being in 1879, okay? So in 1878, we see favorite stove. Favorite Stoves and Ranges for, or uh, Favorite Stoves from W.C. Davis and Company. Not for Favorite Stove Works, okay? But again, in the new Favorite Stove, we see in 1879, the new Favorite Stove Works, okay? And 
that would be W.C. Davis, W. Cable would be vice president, and Phelps Cheseldine would be maybe secretary or treasurer or whatever have you. So again, we need to start looking at this, okay? New for 1879. So that's when Favorite Stove Works was actually on the go. In 1882, we see for Favorite Stove Works Company, and this is where things get interesting because now we've got successors to W.C. Davis and Company, and as far as I know, W.C. Davis and Company still carried on in some capacity, okay? But now we see W.C. Davis is sold Favorite Stove Works, and what Bull did was create the Favorite Stove Works Company. That is what moved to Pequot, Ohio, not Great Western Stove, okay? Um... And again, in 1882, stock company was organized with Bull as president and Cheseldine as secretary and treasurer, okay? So again, we got to go into Favorite Stove Works Company, okay? Uh, favorite cooking stoves and ranges and whatever have you. So the Favorite Stove Works was, it was Favorite Stove Works under W.C. Davis. When W.C. Davis sold Favorite Stove Works to W.K. Bull, Cheseldine and Bull turned around and created the Favorite Stove Works Company, okay? So let's go through a little more of this. And even the uh, news rock got it wrong because they reported that the favorite stove company was secured and moved to Pico, Ohio. This is totally wrong, okay? And it's caused a lot of confusion and issues for Bull. Okay, so we got a news article here suggesting that the city of Pico has secured the uh, favorite stove company, which is totally wrong. It was Great Western Stove Works that was sold to favorite or favorite stove company. They stayed in Cincinnati. They had nothing to do with the uh, favorite stove range or favorite stove works company, okay? So what they did was to print a article that we screwed up, okay? And you can read it clearly on the website, but it's, it's this favorite stove works company that actually moved. Okay, so they were trying to clear up a lot of this scuttlebutt. And it seems like it created a, uh, here's the correction right here, okay? Report yesterday in his paper, and this is again from 1894, shortly after they started up, it's the Favorite Stove Works Company of Cincinnati that came to Piqua, not the Favorite Stove or Favorite Stove Company. So you can read all this on the website, okay? And again, it goes through, I just printed, I typed up the entire interview here, and again, again, they screwed up here, but it's Favorite Stove Com or Favorite Stove and Range. This is the interesting part here. Um, in 1893, trademarks in the U.S. only last for 15 years. And in 1893, after the, uh, a few months after the trademark expired, Stan Hope Bull registered the Sunburst logo and favorite and used it for favorite stove and range. Up to that point, like from 1889, when favorite stove and range started working, they were using the Sunburst logo. Probably not legally, but whatever. But it was made legal in November 28, 1893, and that was just a few months after the uh, trademark expired. So again, if you look at the whole situation, and it's not unusual for companies to do that, but Favorite Stove Works or Favorite Stove and Range had nothing really to do with Favorite Stove Works or W.C. Davis or anything else like that. So they would have registered a trademark and kept using it because it was a longevity. I mean, it was going on since 1878, okay? And why not keep it? So was the Zumbers logo positive brand recognition? Use your own imagination. But just to understand, in closing here, Favorite Stove and Range was a brand new company. It wasn't changed, it wasn't anything else. And all of its, all the succeeding companies were, or preceding companies are still standalone. Some were left in Cincinnati, other, like Favorite Stove Works Company was still running in Pico, Ohio. Favorite Stove and Range was a brand new startup. So you need to understand that. And as for Holloware, they were creating Holloware right from the very beginning. Now, there's going to be more research going on, and it's going to be more to do with the strikes and whatever have you. The Knights of Labor were killing these companies back then. I mean, there was thousands of strikes a year throughout the entire industry. The Knights of Labor started off in the mercantile industry and then moved into everything else, and they were creating havoc. So in 1894, in June 1894, I found an article as well that showed that Favorite Stove and Range was actually shut down for an indefinite period of time because of a strike. Now, when we get into that kind of a history, this is where we're seeing articles of patterns being shipped around. So if one company was struck and boycotted, they would try to get the patterns out to another foundry to keep the product created. Now, it was up to the uh, accepting foundries whether they wanted to take them or not, because if they were discovered, 
that they were creating a product for a company that was struck and shut down, they would also be hit with a strike. Okay, so there was a lot of hush hush under the table stuff going on here. So it, that's pretty much it. So that's the history of favorite stove and range. Okay.